Siyempre, lahat ng lalaki gusto ng blowjob. Wala akong lalang lalaki hindi gusto ng blowjob. Kasi yung mga gumawa sa'yo nito is yung mga empleyado na tinurin mo talagang mga pamilya. Kung ikaw ang pinakabobong tao sa kwarto, ikaw ang pinakasperte. 50,000 na lang eh. Yung kinikita mo isang buwan dun sa business mo. Gusto talaga ng mabay, kinakain sila. I don't 100% trust anymore. When you're having a business, there's a lot of times na may encounter mo dun sa business mo na may isang malaking problema ang mangyayari. And those problems will lead you to something bigger. Kapag nangyari yung mga problema yun, talagang matatanong mo si Lord kung, Lord, bakit ako? Bakit ganito? ba diba? Wala naman ako ginagawang masama. Pero, when things unfold, dun mo makikita na Lord, buti na lang. And I think it happened to you. When you are in business, Actually, uulan ng ganyang maraming problema. Sobrang sakit nito kasi yung mga gumawa sa'yo nito is yung mga empleyado na tinuring mo talagang mga pamilya. Ano yung na-feel mo nung ginawa nila sa'yo? I was in a black hole at those times. Gusto mo na mag-quit? Gusto ko mag-quit. I want to quit. I'm very lucky and fortunate enough na pinagtrabahohan ko yung circle ko. Mo-join ako ng mga masterminds. And I'm lucky enough to meet people like you, mga friends ko in business. Na nakalapit ako sa kapwa ko, business owner. I talk to them about what I'm going through as of the moment. Ang hindi ko makakalimutan, Sir Nani, sabi niya sa akin, Tingin ko ba talaga ito muna best na mangyari sa ito? Nasampal ako ng katotohanan talaga. Sabi ko nang kay Sir Nani, Sir Nani hindi. Hindi ito ang gagawin ko every time nang hiyari sa akin. Kinabukasan, Parang walang nangyari. Parang walang nangyari. And then I I went back. Nag-start start na ako mag-Facebook ads. And then it's a blessing in disguise because it, if it wasn't for that scenario, hindi ko ma-open tong hindi natatap na market which is yung Facebook. And a month after that, nag-try ako mag-TikTok. That's when I started my TikTok account. Doon ako nag-start mag-gain ng maraming followers. Tumago yung brands ko through Facebook. Nag-start na ako magkaroon ng malaking telemarketing team. And everything is just go to place. Ano yung mga blessings na dumating sa'yo during that time? First time ko nakapag-pa-Christmas part. Nakapag-pa-trip to Burahay pa ako sa mga school. Kung sino man nakatlanalo ng raffle. Nakapamigay pa kami ng mga magagandang appliance, malalaking TV. Pero paano nangyari lahat yun? Kasi kanina, 50,000 na lang eh. Yung kinikita mo isang buwan dun sa business mo. So, bago dumating yung December, gaano kalaki na bigla yung kinikita mo? Hmm. Though, 50,000 yung kinikita ng business but yung cash flow ng company lumaki. Kasi nabawasan ako ng empleyado. We stopped for a while. So, naipon yung pera. So, we used that money to use it on advertising. Doon ako nagboba. Boba ko ng ads and I was under supervision ng Gensis. Tinutulungan nila ako, ito eh, pwede mo itong iran, ito pwede mo iran tong product na to. I was very thankful that it happened. Ang balik ka sa bigla sa 7 digit? Oo, oh, hindi. Eight. Basta... Hindi lang 7? Hindi lang 7. Ibig sabihin, no, from someone na kumikita ng 7 digits before, tapos bumaba ka talaga ng 50,000 to 100,000 ka na ng per month. Tapos, with a very short period of time, na iangat mo ulit ng 10 million pataas yung benta ninyo. I think this is the same quote that I always tell my people. Ito, makikita to ng mga normal na followers ko na nakasubaybay that if you master the process, you can always repeat the results. The reason why I was able to do it back again, it's because I teach. Di ba sabi nila, for you to be able to master what you do, you teach. So to start ako magturo ng Lazada and shop, that's when I was able to master my craft. And after that, na-realize ko, kung nakapagturo ako, gumaling sila, bumagsak ako, ba't hindi ko kaya iangat ulit? Take me galino, kung anong man yung ginagawa mo ngayon, kailangan mo siyang ituro sa iba yes. para ma-master mo siya. Yes. Di ba? Kasi doon mo makikita kung gano'n mo na ka-master yung skill na yun eh. Di ba? Sometimes, may kita mo results sa iba. Tama. Kapag yung results ng iba, is doing well, it means you're doing it right. Pero sabi mo kanina, no? you choose people who to trust na lang talaga. Now, how do you choose those people? Honestly, I don't qualify. I don't 100% trust anymore. Hindi ka kasi pwedeng all out because you'll never know when other people see an opportunity to hurt you. They can use it for their own gain. Kasi may iba-ibang tao, oo, nakasakit sila, pero honestly, hindi naman talaga nila mean nasaktan ka yun lang talaga nakakita sila ng opportunity. Masakit sa atin as business owners. Di natin sila pare-parehas, di tayo pare-parehas kung bakit tayo pinalaki. Magkakaiba tayo ng belief or values sa buhay. Para sa kanila, ginawa ko to to survive. I try to be the bigger person. Kung hindi ko gagawin yun, I will not have the closure in my mind. Hindi ako magiging happy all the way. Huwawalan ako ng peace sa utak ko. I have to put something 
in my brain to make me happy. Everything is a lesson. If you become the bigger person, you're always the winner. Kasi ikaw yung maraming natutunan. Kung ikaw ang pinakabobong tao sa kwarto, ikaw ang pinakaswerte. Kasi ikaw ang may pinakamarami na ako. And narealize ko rin sa mga tao na I asked them the same question. They just chose to forgive kasi wala na silang oras pa sa stress. Kasi diba, sa isang buong araw, we only have very few decision making. Kapag na-reach na natin yung number of decisions na kaya natin gawin sa isang araw, hindi na tayo makapag-decision ng tama. Kasi unconsciously, nag-decision kang magalit, nababawasan yung energy mo sa isang buong araw. Oh, yun ah. Kaya yung sinasabi nila that most successful people wear the same clothes. Yan. It's because binabawasan nila yung mga decision factors nila na meron sila sa isang araw. That's why makikita mo yung mayayaman na tao, ang daming yaya, may driver, may secretary. Those small decisions na kailangan nilang pag-isipan is inaasa nilang nila sa ibang tao for them to make bigger decisions for a bolder move dun sa company nila. Oo kasi diba tayo, ang lalaki ng mga desisyon na kailangan natin ibigay. So, para sa hindi nakakaalam, no, one of the most intriguing para sa akin, kasi hindi ko pa masyadong madalas nakakasama recently, ito si Pam, no, but I've noticed na meron ka isang brand na medyo sensitive. So, eh, dito sa podcast ko, ayan mga gusto ko yung okay, okay, okay. topics eh. Okay, okay. Oh, gusto ko itong topic na ba for sure. Ito, brand na to. Ano itong brand na to, friend? Uh, Lashes Spray is a sex product talaga. It's a sex product? Pinapasok ba yan? Oh. Hindi. Ah, hindi, 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 hindi. Wala pa tayo sa ganong tao. Oh, wala. Spray nga eh. Uh, 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 spray nga? Huwag kang ipasok yung spray. Oo, oh, tama. Hindi, <laughs> baka ipasok na sila. Huwag ka naman ipasok yung spray. Oo oh, eh. Pero listen, it's a spray that has a flavor. Flavor? So, yes. Diba kasi... Is it, wait lang, wait lang. Blind, uh, parang blind item. Blind item. item. Wala, wala ka ba dala dyan? Walang sample dyan? Wala. Ay, wala. Wow, wow, wow. Bakit? Bakit? Natumbakan eh. <laughs> kasi naubos na ito ang stocks. Ah, ganun. Diba, ang bilis nga maubos na ito. So, ito is a spray, a sex product that comes in a spray bottle yeah. for women. Women and men. Women and men? Yes. Okay. So, tell me more. The first flavor we have is What? cookie dough. However, ang pinakagusto ng mga lalaki is yes. menthol na. Menthol? So, it's standard kasi... Ano siya eh? Parang siyang FDA. Nakakain siya eh. Nadidilaan na siya eh. Actually, it's edible. It's very safe. So, ang pinaka nagustuhan ng mga lalaki talaga is yung may menthol. Kasi daw down there sa kanila, malamig. So, sabi nila, tuwang-tuwa talaga sila. And nakakatuwa rin kasi you're making couples na hindi ganun ka-excited sa sex. So, become sexually active and dun sila lalo na strengthen yung relationship nila. How big is the bottle? How big is the bottle? Para... Eh, ML lang naman siya. O, papapa-order kami niya. Where could they order it or uh, As of the Shopee, TikTok, it's there. Lashos. Lashos. Uh, can you spell it for our view? L-U-S- C-I-O-U-S Okay, so lalabas namin dito sa baba yes. yung spring banner nung kanilang business yes. yan so tignan nyo na lang dito How can you consider that women is unhappy with their sex life? I spoke to 20 different women so nagtanong ako what do you think? Are you happy with your sex life? You can be honest with me. Hindi nila alam yung orgasm 2 out of 10 women ang naiintindihan ang orgasm 4 out of 10 women ang naka-experience ng orgasm Alam ko nga sa kanila Samantalang yung mga lalaki sa buhay nyo, pag hindi nilabasan, nagdadabog pa palabas ang parto. <laughs> Samantalang kayo, nagkikaibitin. Eh, ikaw pa, hindi mo ba naranasan yun? Say ko before, kasi hindi ko pa siya alam before. But when I met my husband, talagang we're very open to talk about it. Kailangan parehens kayo. Fair fight. Every time. Oo, oh, oh. women have to be very vocal about it because actually men are happy about it. Ang hindi alam ng maraming babae, the more kang vocal, the more kang feisty, the more they like it. Tama ba ako? Tama, 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 Boy na boy ang podcast natin. Kung ang lalaki, ayaw ng blowjob sa babae, for sure sa kapwa niya yan gusto. Kasi kaya naniwan na may lalaki ayaw ng blowjob, I don't believe that. Kasi same lang yan sa babae. For sure, nasasawa na kayo kasi kung di yan lasang basketball court lagi, kung di yan lasang salted egg, yung sa babae naman laging-laging tinakpan daw na mais. Lagi na natakpan, lagi na na panty. And then let's make it fun. Lagi natin ng flavor. Pag kinakain, lagi ng flavor. So, nagtry kami una noon kami mag-asaw. Bumili ako ng ganong product galing US. Tapos, 
Nung trinay namin yun, grabe talaga. Parang ang tagal namin dun sa parang part yun. Parang buffet yun? Parang nag Parang siya nag-buffet yun? Oo, kasi nilagyan ko yung buong katawan. Oh. <laughs> Nangan talaga sa kanya. Sinak ko siya. Bumili ako mag-isa. Tapos... Hindi niya alam. Hindi niya alam. Sinak ko siya. Parang nung pag-sexy tayo na. Oo, oh, tapos naglagay ako sa shoulders, naglagay ako sa boobs, ganyan. Sabi niya, hindi ko talaga pwedeng kalimutan yung boobs kasi dun siya unang nag-buffet. <laughs> Pagka ano niya... Pag ganun pala. Sabi niya agad sa akin, ano yun? Ano lasa yun? Sabi niya nga. Sige ko, bakit? Bakit ba lasa? Ako, tamon siya agad. Doon ko na-realize na wala pang ganito masyadong prada sa Pilipinas. Kaya wala pa akong simulan. Wala pa akong alam na ganyan. Ano nga, diba? E di ni-start ko. Tapos, ang dami kong friends na binigyan ko muna ng product. What I want for this product, my vision for this product, is for all of the users, women, to talk about their desires. That's why ang tagline ni Lashos is, what is it you truly desire? Because there's a lot of women out there na hindi sila makapag-speak out kung anong gusto nila, position, what they want. Kasi nahihiya sila. And I want to create a culture of women being able to talk about this. Kasi at the end of the day, ginagawa pa rin naman natin ito eh. And women are entitled to enjoy. Galing. Galing sobra. Final words na lang for our women out there watching this. Siguro para pumasok sa ganitong type of business, especially e-commerce, na yung mag-try sila mag-hustle. Yes. To all of the women out there, in this world, sa ating mga babae, mahirap talaga. Physically, it's hard because we are the only being in this world who can give birth. And nasa atin lahat ng pressure because giving birth, being a woman, being a mother, being a wife, is a lot of different responsibility. But you have to make sure that you have a money of your own. Hindi lahat ng tao sa buhay mo is mamahalin ka katulad ng pagmamahal mo sa taong mahal mo. You'll never know if the person with you is going to leave you. Kung umaasa ka sa partner mo, you'll never know when he's gonna leave you. Kung umaasa ka sa parents mo, you'll never know when are they going to go. Kung umaasa ka sa government, you'll never know hanggang ka nakatutulungan ng government. As a woman, you are entitled to any opinion or anything that you need to feel. But you are also responsible for your own well-being. Hindi yung mga ibang tao ang dahilan kung ba't nandyan ka, but it's your choice. Kung ang choice mo is maging housewife, you have to understand na hindi lahat ng pera magpupunta sa'yo. Because you're not the one who's earning that money. If you chose to be a working woman, you have to understand that kailangan mo tanggapin na may society na ibiblame ka sa kung anong nangyayari sa anak mo. And it's okay. But either way of your decisions, do not blame other people of whatever you have right now. Blame yourself. If you are doing well in life, thank yourself. Because it's you who did the hard work. Grabe, 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 grabe. Wala akong masabi sa podcast na to. This is one of my most favorite podcasts. At syempre, gusto ko lang isingit, no? Yung aming brand na malapit na malapit na that is Volt Master. This is one of the most advanced and luxury and secured na mga vaults, okay? So this is for your watches. So grabe, guys. Abangan nyo yan. Check out our Facebook page. It's Volt Master. Sana supportan nyo pa kami on our future episodes. Once again, this is Budge Fix signing out. Thank you. Bye.